my project is to develop a, a bionic technology that will allow uh, people with limb amputation to use the artificial limb uh, in a very natural way. When you walk, all the muscles are controlled by your brain, and your brain will broadcast neuron signals through muscle and then control your legs. So what we try to do is we want to design artificial legs you know, in such a way that it is controlled by neuron signals, not manually. We are the first one who come up with a computer algorithm that accurately decipher neuron signals sensed from a patient muscle to control artificial legs. You put it just on the skin, put on the skin on the remaining muscle of amputee and figure out you know, the neural signals from your muscle contraction, which is unique. This, this is not immersive, this is more practical, right? So that's the first thing. Second thing is we are able to design you know, small portable and wireless computers that can, you, know, you can use wireless to control, you know, to transmit signals and control the devices. You know, like you know, what you see there, you see the wires that you carry? Which is, it's okay for experiment, but if in a practical life, you don't want to carry that, you know, this bunch of wires with you, right? If you look at our, the population of the country, statistically speaking, we're getting older, living longer. Um, so there's, we're gonna have a core group of amputees that, um, you know, not related to the, the wars that have gone on, with our country and our military, which certainly can benefit hugely from these devices, but we have to look at our civilian population. You know, hopefully with the future moving forward, this technology will enable these people who are going to continue to live longer to um, utilize these devices and have a better impact on their overall health. My goal is really to uh, advance the function of artificial limbs and allow the user to uh, improve their quality of life. They could not only just walk on level ground, they could be able to negotiate with stairs, ramp, even hiking, running. It'll be great because it'll, it'll uh, open up the door to just that much more activity. Um, they could run, they could, uh, you know, much easier activities, walking back and forth uh, in the house, uh, you know, a lot more. So our current focus is uh, trying to design a stumble recovery control of artificial limb uh, that allow amputee to recover from stumble like a normal person do. Um, and also we're excited about our technology which can be used for control of orthotics, uh, sometimes called exoskeleton. Uh, neural control of uh, orthotics would benefit other patients' population such as uh, stroke, uh, spinal cord injury, uh, cerebral palsy, um, and other neurological disease. We uh, really uh, need a research grant to, to uh, achieve our research goal. This work um, requires a lot of uh, very high-tech equipment, and we really need a team. Uh, a lot of detailed, uh, such as experiments, uh, and also um, programming, all those things require um, the student, postdoc, research engineer, uh, clinical profession. Therefore, uh, we have to have this multidisciplinary team to uh, make the bionic lag possible and then essentially helping people uh, to, to walk again. So it requires a lot of research work, development work, and testing. So we will need funding to you know, carry out those research make this scientific fiction uh, reality.